Hey guys, how's it going? Lewis Hagen Invest here and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through my investment portfolio update for October 2021. Let's get straight into it. So for anyone new around here, let's go through my portfolio details and target allocation. So basically, how did I start this portfolio? Well, I started in May 2020 uh, recording this portfolio um, and I'm basically I'm benchmarked against the FTSE World Index. So my goal over time is to beat the World Index, uh, so the world stock market. Um, what I'm doing is I'm investing in multiple asset classes. Um, so my portfolio is made up of uh, individual stocks, um, the World Small Cap Index, Emerging Markets Internet E-Commerce Index, Venture Capital, which is basically my equity crowdfunding, um, and then alongside that I've got crypto and gold as well. Uh, the currency is in great British pounds and the current value uh, at the end of um, September, so for the October update, um, was £12,565. Now onto my portfolio performance and yeah, so individual stocks up 14% um, and then let's have a look at some of the other bits. Venture capital is up 47%, Bitcoin up 80, 80 822%. So yeah, they're all in the green. Um, my internet and e-commerce index was down 80% um, and then my gold is still down as we speak. Um, but yeah, that's the performance and then onto the broken down section. Um, the best performing, you know, assets have been Bitcoin and my, you know, crowdfunding shares in free trade. Uh, they make up the majority of my returns, to be fair. But I've also got stocks such as Facebook, which have done really well. Um, what else? Pfizer have done decent as well. Um, and yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much an overview of my investments. Um, let's have a quick chat about a few other bits and you know the future of this portfolio and these updates. Yeah, firstly, I have to say, massive apologies for how late this update actually is. I usually do it, you know, within the first week of the month, and it's this is actually a month late, so I'll be doing my November update in a week's time, most likely. Um, but yeah, not much has really changed, to be honest, and that's kind of why I've forgotten about it. I've been doing putting more of my focus into my, you know, my stock analysis and my UK, my three UK stocks to buy now series, which I've been doing pretty well. And generally, these portfolio updates they do okay on YouTube, but. I just find them pretty boring and repetitive to make, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'll probably still keep making them if people, you know, still do want to watch them. So you know, leave a comment if you are interested, um, and seeing what stocks I own and what assets I'm owning. Yeah, hopefully it gets a bit more interesting soon. I've got a massive watch list full of stocks ready to buy. Based, basically, you know, I've done all the analysis, the fundamental analysis, fundamental analysis on them. Um, but yeah, a lot of them I just need the market to drop thirty percent, and then I'll be about be a buyer. But yeah, you can't predict these things, can you? But anyhow, so yeah, I've had a bit of a clear out recently. I've had a, a real good think about what stocks I really want to own, and I want to own the best quality businesses possible. And um, so my watch list is it's pretty much the same. Probably ten names have switched in and switched out. Um, and I think over time this will you know benefit me over the long run. I was investing in companies which would, were not that good quality companies. I think I'd like stuff like Drax and Empire State Realty, which on the surface may seem like interesting businesses, but when you really deep in, dig deep into the numbers, they work really that good. Um, so I've really refined the process, which you've seen on my stock analysis videos. I'm a bit more rigorous a bit more cutthroat with what I want to own. I'm not just going to own a stock for the sake of it nowadays. Um, I feel like I've done that in the past. Or I've bought stocks based on the look undervalued and another investors or I've seen someone make a video on it and I've, for example, Biogen is a perfect example. Um, quite a few people were speaking about this stock uh, being undervalued, etc. But essentially I yeah, bought it on that premise. <laughs> Um, I did some research on it and yeah, it looked undervalued, but I didn't really understand the business. So uh, yeah, that one didn't go too well and I made a decent loss on it. I think about 20% loss, but not the end of the world. But yeah, I'm really focusing on my research now and um, the, the names I've got, 30 to 40 companies on my watch list. I've got about 20 I own, maybe 20, 15 to 20. You know, shows up to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm doing more research on the individual ones and, you know, really refining the process to become a better investor at the end of the day. So that was my October 2021 investment portfolio update. Not much has really happened. Um, I will have my November update out next week. Um, so 
we'll all be a bit closer together these ones but it's because I forgot to do this update in the first place um, but yeah I have actually bought Intel and um, so that'll be in next month I bought it sold it and I bought it again after doing some research essentially I bought the stock you know like I said before I bought the stock and I was like right this is undervalued but I really really need to understand the business but I wasn't quite gra quite grasping it um, but I've done a hell of a lot of research on the semiconductor business now watch loads of YouTube videos and I have a decent understanding of it and I'm happy to own the stock that I now have a decent understanding of the business and I'm happy with the financials of course as well um, but yeah that's a sneak peek for next week um, probably release next Saturday and um, that's when I'm going to release these investment portfolio updates anyhow um, but yeah thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time thank you for watching as always it would be amazing if you could like comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video I will see you in the next one however you can check out some of these videos